All right, so last Saturday I made a video saying I'm starting a community project and today, Friday, I want to kind of make a video to demonstrate the progress that we made over the past week. So everything that's done in this project is basically built from the Discord community I have. There's a bunch of developers here just trying to commit and add features where they can. And I'm basically just acting as like, I don't want to say the project manager. I'm just kind of like approving PRs, merging them and making sure they get deployed. So this is the app we have. Um, we got some light mode, dark mode going on. Pretty cool. We have the ability to race. I think there's some things we need to work on. Um, like right now we have a leaderboard. So if after you finish a race, it keeps track of your average uh, CPM. This needs to be fixed. Um, but we have some pagination going on, which is pretty nice. We got the ability for people to add snippets, which I believe this will throw an error because I'm not logged in. Uh, we could use some work on the validation. I would hope that this actually validated the form fields so that users know what they didn't do right instead of having an alert pop up. Let's just type some stuff there. You're not authorized to do this command. Okay, so this page should probably be hidden unless you're logged in. Let me just go ahead and show you the login functionality. We do have this set up with GitHub um, OAuth. So I'll go ahead and sign in. I got my account now. And now I should be able to upload a TypeScript snippet. Let me just go ahead and like find one real quick. Go ahead and copy all of this and paste it in, click upload. And then we have successfully uploaded our snippet down here. There's a button that you might not be able to see. It says click to race. So if you click on this, it'll take you back to the race page where you can actually start practicing with the snippet that you uploaded. We're trying to work with race with friends and multiplayer. Um, this is something new I just merged in today. I haven't seen this before. I think these buttons don't even work. I would say like don't add features to the UI unless they're actually working. Because right now if you click this, it says not implemented. If you click this, the app just crashes. Okay, so if you're trying to build out a product, you can add in the code, but again, like disable it until it's actually ready for users to use. Because now we did have a bunch of broken functionality that like no one can use. Also, if you click practice yourself, um, I'm not sure what language it chooses by default, but I'm guessing this should be required. So I'm gonna pick TypeScript. I'll click practice myself and you see that it has TypeScript up here, pretty cool. Type in GG and that is the race. This page is the, like the race metric. So after you finish a race, it tells you like how, how did you do? How'd you rank against other people? You can actually like redo the race by clicking restart. Go ahead and practice again. There we go. And as you finish these races, I know these snippets are like silly. And this is just me running with local data. So I need to actually go through those snippets and delete them. But after you finish a race, you can go to your dashboard, which is another page that my subscribers and community worked on, where you can actually see your CPM over time to know if you're getting better or if you're getting worse over time. I think all this is, I don't know if this is live data or mock data. I'm assuming a lot of this is just like fake hard-coded data. I think these are actually hooked into real data. Um, and here are the race results. So after you finish a race, you can go and kind of view the results you did for that race. Result ID, I don't know why we're displaying this column. You could probably get rid of that, but let's just go ahead and click this. What else we got? We got a profile page, which you can go in here. You can, you know, change your name here if you want to. I'm gonna put this down here. So as you like do actions in the UI, you get interesting little like Toast that pop up. I kind of like that. And also delete your account if you want to. And log out. And then of course leaderboards. So that's basically the functionality that we have as of today. It's been about six days of development with a bunch of people who are intermediate beginners. I, I'm assuming some people are more advanced. Just kind of working on issues and submitting PRs. I'm actually impressed with how much progress was made with very little like um, effort on my part. I think a lot of this was actually done by the community itself. We have about 139 PRs that have been fully merged into this project. And I'm actually super impressed. So good job, everyone who's been kind of contributing. I'm going to go to the insights and show you. We got a decent amount of people all coming in here and contributing. Um, pretty awesome. So the point of this video is I just wanted to demo the work that my community has done and just kind of like ask and invite anyone else who's looking for a community to like work on something you guys are always welcome to try to improve this application. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. Um, I honestly don't have enough time to be like the full-time project manager for this. So I just recently added two people as collaborators so that they're going to be reviewing and merging PRs. But the idea is if you are able to be self-sufficient and just like kind of play through the UI and try to find things that are broken or bad, for example, this is spelled wrong. 
if you're the type of person who can look at a UI and be like, this will be better if I actually like, you know, fix the spelling of average, or this would be better if I can potentially disable these buttons since they don't even work or just hide these cards in general. That's kind of like what I'm looking for, for a contributor, someone who's like proactive and making the application better. Um, so whenever you kind of play around, if you find a feature, just make a new issue, go up here, create an issue, create a new feature or a bug report, and then leave a comment saying that you plan on working on it if you do. If you don't plan on working on it, then don't leave a comment. But anyone is welcome to come in here and basically try to work on this stuff, okay? The, the way that we're doing it right now is you go through an issue, you see if someone's been assigned to it. Um, typically the first person to comment on it is gonna get assigned and I have to come in here and just kind of like attach people. Kind of annoying process, but uh, it is what it is. And then uh, go ahead and just, you know, work on your stuff, make a PR, we'll review it and we'll get it merged in. Now, if you're a complete beginner, you have no idea where to start, read through the documentation and there's a contributing MD file. So read through this, it'll tell you how to basically, you know, how to name your branches, how to name your PRs, how to name your commits. It tells you what you need to have installed in your machine if you wanna kind of develop like everyone else in this project. So we, ins we recommend you have Docker installed because we have a Docker image that runs Postgres locally. And then as far as getting this set up, you basically just follow these steps, right? You need to fork the project um, and then clone your fork. This could actually be improved. Um, I'm assuming there's a command for forking a repo. Um, and this might confuse beginners. So if anyone wants to fix that, feel free to. But the steps are pretty straightforward. You should be able to kind of follow all this, you know, get your application running, and then you can access it locally like I'm doing here. And then also there is a video. You're welcome to watch this video. But it kind of walks you through how you can work on a public repo and do your first pull request. So definitely go check out this video. Um, it's kind of old. I'm not really too happy with this video, but I do think it kind of gives you a an idea how to contribute to an open source project with forking the repo and stuff. We also have a live version deployed to like a, a preview for a cell deployment where obviously there's more bugs here. So, I mean, we got to fix that. I'm not sure why these are saying NAN. I might as well just delete the database and start fresh. Anyway, that's about it. I just wanted to share and demo like what we have so far, um, kind of get people hyped up if they're interested in contributing. And uh, like always, I have a Discord channel. You're welcome to click in the description below if you want to join this community and try to work on this project. Okay, you can go to my Discord, join in, and then find this type racer section. Basically, this community project channel is where we're doing like the main discussions about what we need to work on. And then every day, you know, feel free if you do work on this, like leave a little comment of like what issue you're working on so that I can like know who's working on what. It just kind of helps me understand like um, what's getting worked on and what's not. All right, that's about it. Have a good day. Happy coding.